Hello YouTube! Today is going to be a tutorial about a Blood Elf, which is a race from the game World of Warcraft, which you guys probably know by now that I am a huge fan of. This is going to be one of a series, so hopefully you've seen those videos as well. I'm uh, doing a bunch of races from World of Warcraft Alliance and Horde, just kind of want to mix it up with some fun characters, so please go see those as well. For my Blood Elf today, I kind of did more of a soft, sweet Blood Elf because they are very petite, very delicate with their features, but also have, you know, very angular faces. So uh, I gave her a little bit of a crown and just some little features that help define what a Blood Elf definitely looks like. They have a very uh, natural range of hair color and skin color. So they go from super light hair and skin to super dark, whichever range of the spectrum you prefer. I stuck with my dark black hair and I'm actually wearing extensions from Bombay Hair and uh, I stuck with my pale skin and gave it a little bit of tan with the contour. As always, I will have all the products I used listed down below, so I also have my codes if you want to save some money on some of the products that I use, go ahead and do that as well. It's cute. I feel so cute as a little blood elf, I just want to run around and be cute. So uh, let's do it right now. Right now. First we're going to start off with a damp beauty blender and I am putting in the Dior Air Flash foundation in the lightest shade. This foundation is pretty spendy so there are a lot of other alternatives but I just like this because it is very light and buildable. <laughs> At this moment I realized that I forgot primer. So usually I use the Benefit Professional Primer. Just so you guys know, definitely prime your face beforehand. <laughs> For some of the highlights, I'm going to start using the RCMA VK number 11 palette. This palette is so awesome. You've seen me use it in videos before because it has so many colors to it. And so I'm going to use one of the very lightest colors to really highlight under my eyes, on my forehead, and on my nose, just to get those very poppy, delicate features of the Blood Elf. I personally really love using beauty blenders to blend all of the makeup out. You really do get a very flawless finish when you're just tapping the product around. And just set that using some translucent powder. This is Makeup Forever HD powder and a Tarte brush. Now onto the contour. We are going to be putting it onto the cheekbones. Well, under the cheekbones, I guess. You know, right onto the nose under the jawline, around the chin, pretty much contour your face like you would normally times 10. We want it to be really, really intense because these blood elves, especially for me, I have a round face, you know, so I really need to work at it. These blood elves have very, very angular, beautiful faces, so we want to achieve that with makeup. I like using my Beauty Blender and a Morphe G30 brush to really get right under that cheekbone. And under the jawline as well. With a fluffy Morphe brush, I'm going to blend out the nose contour. With contouring your nose, you want it to look slimmer, essentially, so you're going to put the dark pigment right on each side and kind of round it out on the bottom of the nose. And what that will do is create an illusion that the highest point of your nose is the middle, which would be lightest, and it will just kind of shade down on the sides to make it look very slim and much thinner than it normally is. I decided I want a little bit more of a highlight on the nose to show, so I'm using that same cream color that I used earlier for the highlighting, just to put a tiny bit on the top of my nose and right across the bridge. For the blush, I'm using one of the lighter peach colors from the Morphe Blush Palette with a Sigma brush, just to put right on the apples of my cheeks very lightly, blending into the contour. I do want my blood elf to be super glowy, 
So I'm using a fan brush from Morphe Brushes and MAC Soft and Gentle, one of my absolute fucking favorite highlighters. And I'm mainly focusing that on top of the cheekbones, a little bit on each side of the forehead, on the bridge of the nose, and on the cupid's bow. Starting the crown, I'm just going to start slowly mapping out exactly where I want it, paying attention to how it hits on both sides of my head. I want it to be very symmetrical, or at least <laughs> as symmetrical as I can get it. So I am just paying attention to that and then slowly building it up, using an angled brush from Morphe Brushes and the gold and white cream paints from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette mixed together to get this color. I want to start adding dimension into this crown. So I'm going to be using the small angled brush from Morphe and the 35N palette from Morphe. You guys have seen me use this palette a billion times in the video, I don't even need to explain it anymore. It has every fucking brown you would ever want in your life. And I want to start with one of the lightest colors and go completely under the crown, right up to the base of it and slowly start blending that out. You want to start with the lighter colors and then slowly start building up the darker colors closer to the crown. Naturally, there would be much more shadow closer to the hairline of where the crown would be. And then right under that curve, as you can see, I'm really darkening that up using darker and darker brown eyeshadows. I would say to keep it realistic, you don't want to just go straight into that black shadow because a shadow on top of your skin wouldn't just be, boom, black. So make sure to kind of stick with skin tone ranges. I want to put a little bit of shadow on top of the crown, but focusing that much more towards the hairline. Since the crown curves around, we want to add a little bit of shadow on the crown as well. So where the curves would be, you'd add a little bit of shadow. I'm just using the darker brown shade of eyeshadow mixed with a little bit of the gold paint from the Makeup Forever Flash palette. And then highlighting with the white cream paint from the Makeup Forever Flash palette as well. I wanted to give her a little gemstone in her crown, so I'm using some red cream paint to just create a nice oval. You do want to start darkening up one side, so I am adding some more brown eyeshadow to the gemstone just to make it look like it's 3D. I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow between the gemstone and the crown just to have the gemstone pop out even more. Just keep going darker and darker on the gemstone so you feel it looks like it's very dimensional. Adding a little bit of highlight to the gemstone, I'm using white cream paint and I'm focusing just on the very top. Then I'm going to give it some little highlights as a glare effect using the white cream paint. For the eyebrows, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony. Usually with the Blood Elves brows, they are super long, you know, completely off of their head. But since I'm going with more of a glam Blood Elf, I wanted to just do them on my face, so I am just going to elongate them a little bit more than I normally would. I usually would jump into the eyes right now, but I kind of wanted to go for the lips. So I'm using Kimchi Doll from Gerard Cosmetics, this really nice kind of light peachy nude color. And I'm just going to put that all over my lips and then set it with the Makeup Forever HD powder just because it is a very creamy lipstick and I want to go for a little bit more of a matte effect. 
Just using a little bit of Rodeo Drive from Gerard Cosmetics, I'm going to line the lips and ombre them just a little bit to give a pouty effect. I really do love Gerard Cosmetics lipstick so much because, you know, I'm more of a liquid to matte girl, but when I take those off my lips, my lips don't feel super moisturized, and these do. They're very moisturizing, they're so pigmented, and with summer coming around, I definitely want, you know, these very creamy, beautiful, moisturized looking lips. So I absolutely adore these for summer and spring coming up. On to the eyes. Obviously I did one half off camera, but I am going to prime them using some Urban Decay Primer Potion and use a fluffy brush to just blend that out all over. Still using the Morphe 35N palette, I'm going to use one of the very lightest brown shades as a transition shade into my crease and blend that fully out. I want to start darkening up this little V shape that I have on my eye, so I'm just using a little bit of a darker brown to create that with a smaller Sigma brush and then blending that out as well. I want more of a shadow cast under my eyebrow, so I did add some pigment right there and going to blend that out onto my nose and back into my crease just so that when my eyebrow is there it looks like it's putting a shadow into my crease and down right into my nose. To elongate the eyes we are going to do a very thick line of winged liner. This is actually my first time trying out the Ico eyeliner pen and I really ended up liking it. As you can see it's very black and I usually like to use the Inglot 77 liner because that is blacker than ever, but this one's nice because I do like to sometimes use the versatility of a pen. So just continue to keep making your wing. As you can see, I'm just filling it in and slowly building it up to get a nice sharp line. I also decided that I wanted a very feline-like shape, so I am bringing it down just a little bit into the corner of the eye. Just to make the eyes look even more girly and open, I went ahead and popped on some eyelashes off camera. These are from Friends Beauty, and it's 302, and it's two of them stacked. They are my absolute favorite lashes right now. I'm pretty obsessed with them. I felt the crown was just a little flat while I was, you know, looking at myself, so I decided to add just this little tiny divot right by the gemstone. So what I'm doing is making it look like the crown has this small indention in it, just to give it a little more of a kind of interesting look and a little more dimension. I hope you guys liked this tutorial, and I will be continuing to do more and more nerdy video game videos because they are so much fun so please go subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time